Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my last video tutorial, I talk about how to create a pivot table using data model within the Power Pivot tab environment using the same customer info and the order info inside our data model and creating a relationship between them in the pivot table. So today we are moving further into how to create calculations within the data model environment in the previous video tutorial we have seen on how to create a data model creating a relationship between the various data sets within the data model and also we have seen creating a pivot table based on that data model now let's take a look at how we are getting back into the data model that is the customer info and the other info and create calculation within the data model environment now let's take a look i have got the example file back already open in front in front of me here i am still using the newly created pivot table that will based on the data model we have created in the previous class i'm going to go up to my pivot table in pipe with power pivots here which in power pivot tab then on the far left here you can see I am going to go back into the world, into the manage data model and give it a click. All right, and we open up the Power Pivot environment. We have got here. Yeah, we have got my multiple data set and the relationship. So now I want to create some calculations based on this data model remember we have seen how to create calculations inside the pivot table in our previous class but that is in the pivot table environment but not part of our data model so i'm currently on the honda other info here within the within, the, within my data model and i can see all my data up above now down below I have got few rules that are really reserved for my calculation that I want that I want to create create based on this data. For example, we have seen how we can create count count functions that is count of other priorities based back inside of the world the pivot pivot table environment but this time let's take a look at how you can do this thing count that is i want to know i want to know different sales channel use for setting or selling different products within the world the data model the first step is to click on the word the search sales channel it doesn't matter where anywhere you click just as long as i am inside the world the sales channel column now go to home tab here you can see at the top of of my screen toward the far right here we have got a section called calculations all right at the top at the top we got an auto song button here now there's a little drop down drop down arrow right next to it with multiple different auto calculations that we can create and one of them is what a distinct count okay right click on it you can see so now i've got different search channel used for setting different product within the world the data model which is what you can see let me go over to you okay okay which is two meaning that we have both offline and what's 
online sales channel that has been used what, to sell different products all right let's say maybe i want to know i want to count the number of countries here within the within which those products were being sold all i need to do is to hover to calculations here just first click on the word the country you know doesn't matter anywhere you click then over down to the word, the calculation at the top here you click on it then then click on what choose count now you can see that okay let me expand it a little bit expand it a little bit now you can see that at the drop down uh, you can see that in the above arrow once i click on the word the count option in the drop down which is what it has uh, which is count i'll be able to pick on them it has given me 800 country countries which has been used to sell those products however you can also work on some other options available just like the sun and those are just like the sun function the average or the max and the what and the mean really simple just just a click in the column over to the home tab right here go to the auto sum here and pick your calculations that's all now we are going to take this step further in my next video tutorial and utilize utilize this con uh, this calculation to create kpis that is key performance indicator so hold on to this try this out first and then we will move further in creating kpis inside our data model however let me delve a little bit on kpi kpi that is key performance indicator a virtual measure of performance which is supported by a specific calculated field basically a kpi is designed to help users to quickly evaluate the current values and status of a metric against a defined target also, a KPI is a quantitative, quantitative measurement used when gauging business objective. For example, let's say the sales department of an organization might use a KPI to measure monthly gross profit against projected gross profit. Also, the accounting department might also measure monthly expenditure against revenue to evaluate cost and also a human resources department might also measure quarterly employee turnover using kpi each of all this scenario is an example of a kpi various business professionals frequently group kpi together in a performance scorecard to obtain a quick and accurate historical summary of business success or to identify a trend a KPI include a base value, a target value, and also a status threshold. Okay, let me quickly delve into um, each and every one of uh, one of what I just listed right now. On the base value, actually, a base value is a calculated bit that must result in a value, and on the target value, a target value also is also a calculated value that also results in a in a value perhaps an absolute value on its own on the start start threshold the threshold threshold is defined by the range between a low and high threshold that is the start start threshold display with a graphic or let's say graphical to help users easily determine the status of the base value compare to the world to the target value in a nutshell in my next video tutorial i will show you how to use kpi in the practical ways to analyze all this narrow stated inside of the excel thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel as i'll keep giving you more of the excel functions bye